So here you're seeing me just kind of go around the mannequin. I have already pinned the whole patch onto the bodice and I clipped and curved it and did all that to make it fit. But now I have it pinned all flat and I'm ready to sew it. kind of full steam ahead but let me kind of show you the breakdown of what I did uh, again with this tutorial I am assuming that you can sew at a past a beginner level so let me just kind of show you what I did because yeah I gotta finish this thing so if you glance here so what I did before I added the lining um, I hand basted it in like a really bright red thread so that way I could see it and pick it out easily when I was done. Um, I, I basted the sheet onto the mannequin as uh, onto the fabric as it was on the mannequin. So that way if I needed to like cut into it and kind of overlap it to make uh, like a dart or something, I could do that and I know that it was forming to the, the, the mannequin's body. And of course I had the, the lining pinned on it too because it has cups. So once that looked flat and there was no bubbling while it was being worn on the mannequin, then I took it off and I brought it to my machine. And I don't know if you can tell, but I outlined, I just went over and I did switch in some parts based on how I, I felt. I did switch from zigzags to straight stitching I think here I did, yeah, I did straight stitching here. So I went all around the whole perimeter. And then if I felt like a certain part was bubbling too much um, at my discretion, just kind of like came down and I came back up and followed some of these, went around, um, just really trying to tack down anything that might want to bubble or just, you know, so that way there's, there's no movement like the whole piece is one um this part did take a while um i did the basting one evening and then today i came back the next night and i did um all the stitching and cutting out tonight so you know kind of pace yourself so like obviously when you have when i put down the sheet 
there's a lot of extra mesh that I need to cut out. So if you could tell, I cut around the, the stitched part, like the embroidered parts, like the negative space, I cut that out. So now that I have that done, also, I also did not, I left the seam allowance. I didn't stitch it down there because I'm going to attach the skirting down here. So all this is like flopping and not connected half an inch from the bottom. Then I also did this. I saw this in a, a YouTube tutorial and they were talking about some foundations book. So they were saying you could use, um, well, they were using horsehair braid to like at the top of your, your lining when you're about to attach the bodice to put horsehair braid. But I didn't have enough horsehair braid, so I used a thick like nylon ribbon. And it it see it looks great. Like when I flip this over, it looks good. And then I attach once I attach this to the lining, then I sewed the lining right sides together with the the nice bodice. And now I'm going to flip it over. Let me just flip it over. Also, don't forget before you flip over, you do need to clip your corners, any convex things, clip it, clip it, clip it, so that way it turns over and adheres to that same curvature on the outside. So here I just kind of like flipped it over, whatever. You do have to kind of mess with it and just make sure you, you push things down so stuff starts to lie flat. Remember the, all those basting seams I did? So now when you're about to um, clean this up, you know, you can pick them out. I also had um, an allowance guide on the lining that I did. I don't know if you could, yeah, you can see it. It's right here. I got to pick that out also. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, just kind of like pull these, pull these down so that way they, yeah, you just have to kind of fuss with it for a little bit. Then I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to stitch it down this way. Let me show you. On the lining side, I'm going to flip this that way and I'm going to stitch it down on the lining side. So everything that's an allowance on this side, I'm, I'm pushing it towards the allowance. And then I'm going to stitch it down with it. It doesn't have to be a little stitch. They can be a big stitch. But you just follow the whole, the whole bodice all the way around on the liner side. And then after that, then I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to press the heck out of it so it can... Tr so I could train it to just stay in this shape and press it and iron it and press it. I do, if you if you have one... Or if you don't have one, I highly recommend that you get a tailor's ham for that purpose to iron on curves. I'm gonna do that. Um, so I'll be I'll be right back. So I have attached the lining dress part to just the lining, and you can see here. I attached that, and then off, and then of course the the skirt was like way bigger than um, like the bodice measurement, so. I mean, but that, that was already like known. So I, I gathered it. So you could see here, like I, I did, I did my gathers there, you know, you see them. So I attached that and now I'm going to go and I'm going to add on the, let me try and angle this up cause I'm stuck to the charger. Um, I have the skirt over there and I put the mesh over the main base part. Yeah. I'm sorry. My studio is like a huge mess, but whose isn't? <laughs> And I connected it and I basted it. So I have that also gathered and ready to go. So I had to prep this part really, really quick. So what I did here, remember I was telling you like I'm leaving the, the bottom parts like flopping because, uh, you know, I'm trying to make this look continuous. Like I don't want to see like a cut off part of the, the patch and then the rest of it is continued and sewn on on the bottom. So I, I flipped them all up to expose where I'm going to be sewing on the, the main bodice. And I safety pinned and pinned everything up so that way I do not catch it right now when I do put in the skirt. So that's what I'm going to do. And I have that ready. And then once I've done that, then I am going to, uh, like I did here on the inside of the the lining, once I sew, sewed it, I went and I went with my serger just to like go over and secure that and clean it up because I have all these like little threads in there and it 
I don't know, I, I just need it to be neat and clean, you know what I'm saying? And then lastly, then we'll work on the, the insertion of the lace-up part and the modesty flap. 